Hey, what's up guys? Joker here. Hope you're all doing well and had a fantastic weekend. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to change the FOV or field of view in God of War, which launched last week on the PC. It's an incredible port as far as performance is concerned and everything like that. However, there is the glaring uh, issue of the missing FOV slider, which is probably one of the biggest and really one of the only complaints I've seen so far about the PC port of God of War is that there is no FOV slider because, and it's probably that due down to like cinematic cameras and how all of that works. But there is a fix out there thanks to the modding community and the flawless widescreen uh, modification tool, which will allow you to adjust the FOV in God of War to your heart's content. So I'm going to show you how to go ahead and get this fix applied in just a moment. But first, today's video is brought to you by PrimeTechMart.com, where you can save money on software like Windows 10 Pro licenses for under $25. They've also got Windows 10 Home for under $20, and now Windows 11 Pro you can grab over on PrimeTechMart.com. They've also got Office 2019 and the new Office 2021. And if you want to save an additional 20% at checkout on Windows 10 or any other software, go ahead and click buy it now. And during the checkout process, go ahead and put JP20 in and apply that coupon. And that'll give you 20% off of any software that you happen to pick up over there. So for Windows 10 Pro, you can see it dropped our price down from $24.46 to under $20. So be sure to hit up the links down in the description below, and don't forget to use my coupon code JP20 at checkout for an additional 20% off. So in order to do this, you're going to want to head over to flawlesswidescreen.org, and I will leave a link down in the description below to how you can get to, get to this website, and I'm going to show you now quickly how to download it, install it, and then set it up so that you can adjust the FOV in God of War. So you're going to want to come down here to download Flawless Widescreen and use the X64 installer package, which is recommended, or you can grab one of the other ones if it's better suits you for a portable one, if you need that for like a zip drive or something. But just go ahead and click download and save your file, and then download the saved file wherever it happens to be stored on your computer, or just open it from within your file browser, and that will be in the wide, flawless, wide, flawless widescreen setup wizard. Go ahead and click next, next again, or change the installation location if you want to. Hit next, and I'm, I'm going to create a desktop icon, but you don't have to if you don't want to. And then click install, and it should install pretty much instantly, and then you're going to want to go ahead and launch the Flawless Widescreen application. And here we're going to get the license agreement and so on and so forth. And after a few seconds, you'll be able to click on I agree. And that will get rid of the context window. This will pop up right here. You can go ahead and close that right away. And it'll ask you if you want to set up the configuration files uh, for, so you can set your Steam path and things along those lines as well as Origin. So you're going to want to go ahead and click yes for that. Now, for me, God of War, that's on Steam. So as you can see here, the Steam path matchmaking right now is pretty much empty. It just says Steam, Steam app. So what you want to go ahead and do is click on Add Path. And we're going to want to put in where our Steam apps folder is located. And for you, that might be in C Program Files x86. For me personally, it's on my G drive. So I'm going to come down to that, Games, my Steam library, and then Steam apps and common, and that is what I'm gonna put it there and hit okay. And then we'll put that file path into there for me. And it should notice where all of my games are now installed. And I'm gonna go ahead and click save changes. And if you wanna set one for origin as well, you can also do that if you need to do anything else in here um, for that. So there you go. It then sets it up and you're gonna come up here to search plugins. And we're just gonna quickly type in God of War. Or I just typed in God of, and you can see it showed up right here. So we'll go ahead and click on that, and that will load up this screen right here, where it is really as simple as clicking on the FOV adjustment and ticking that box right there so that it is enabled. And then you can go ahead and adjust the FOV slider to your heart's content. And we'll go ahead and hop in game right now, and I'll show you the effects of that. Uh, and I won't be able to adjust it on the fly. Um, I personally won't because I'm recording with shadow play and it will kind of delete the recording, but you'll be able to adjust this to your heart's content and alt tab out of the game and sort of move it to see where it's at and then go back into the game. And if you don't like it, you can lower it down a little bit if you want to. So that's something you'll be able to do on your end. But for my purposes, I'm just going to hop in and just show you the effects of it here and I'll put it to the max setting and you guys will get a chance to see what it looks like in game. All right, so as you can see here, I'm in now God of War, and the FOV has obviously been adjusted. This is set to the uh, the max FOV setting 
uh, on the slider. So you may not want to pull the camera back this far, but if you've seen what the game looks like regularly, you know this is this is pretty much like fisheye by comparison. I believe the default FOV value for God of War is uh, 73, I remember reading online. Uh, so you can adjust it from there or all the way up to as far as, as this right here, or you can punch it in. Honestly, even for like a third third person game, this is not that that fisheye to me. A little, maybe just a touch, but I might so I might dial it back a bit. But as I said there, um, you know, I'm recording right now using Shadowplay, so I can't tab out and adjust. Otherwise, it's going to kill the recording and blah, 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 and create all sorts of issues that way for me. But you'll be able to hit Alt-Tab once you're in-game and adjust the FOV slider up or down a few degrees and, you know, get it dialed into the where you want the game to be. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. FOV slider, sort of. At least it works flawless widescreen, and it does work pretty flawlessly, honestly. So at least, you know, I do wish the game had it in there by default, but at least something like this does exist on the PC. And that is one of the great benefits of playing a game like this on the PC is that if you have this game on PS4 or PS5, you can't do this. You can't adjust any options that aren't built into the game. But on the PC, you can bet your ass within just a few days time from the game coming out, We've already got a fix for this FOV, and I believe it was already out a day or two ago. Uh, I'm a little bit late on this one because of the weekend and everything, and uh, NFL playoffs. Sorry to see my Raiders lose. But there you go, FOV fix, flawless widescreen. Link is going to be down in the description below if you appreciated this tutorial, and the FOV is working for you now. Let me know down in the comments below, and I'll catch you guys next time. Turtle.